Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, come on, come on. Let's give God some praise. Sunny shining, y'all. Amen. Praise God. God is good. Amen. We got so much, so much, so much to praise God for. And we just think about what people are going through this morning. Uh, look at what's happening in Kentucky and all down uh, in that area. Over six states were impacted by over 30 tornadoes. And you know, when we think about how we were able to speak last night, hallelujah, glory to God, and how we were able, amen, praise God. We know that we even had some that lost power here in Monroe County, amen, praise God. But thank God that we still have our life, our health, and our strength. Come on, somebody. We need to give God some praise. So much, so much is going on today. So many things are falling apart and falling down. So much, amen, praise the uncertainty today. But thank God that we have a God that sits high and looks low, amen, praise God, and he takes care of us. Good morning to all of our saints and friends, those of you who are here. We thank God for the spirit of Christ. I'm Pastor Willie Lightfoot. Give honor to my wife, the first lady, Verdina Lightfoot. We honor our bishop, amen, praise God, and his wife. All of our executive council and their wives, amen, praise God. Our superintendent, amen, Dr. Reginald Damon and his wife. We honor, amen, our great pastor, our marriage Dr. George Damon, amen, praise God, and his wife, Mother Aurora Damon, amen, praise God. We honor all of our deacons and ministers, saints and friends, and our musicians, our songstress, and all of our mothers, and all of you in your respective places. And most importantly, God, we honor the spirit of Christ. Come on, come on. shall confess. We're getting ready to pray. We thank God for you joining our services on this morning, amen, whether you're in person, whether you're on Zoom, or whether, amen, praise God, you are on Facebook. We thank God for you joining with us. We, we're, we're recognizing that we're getting more and more of our partners online, and we thank God for you guys. We thank God for your support. We thank God for your giving. Want to stop to pause for a moment and just thank God for one of our own, amen, praise God, Brian Whitlock, who graduated on yesterday, also, for this master's degree. We want to lift up our young people, our young men, our young men, our young men, our young men, our young We're so proud of him. We have those who are still away, his mom and his dad, uh, some of our, our, our tech team, thank God for them, who are still away, amen, visiting with him and, and helping to celebrate the great day of him graduating. We're getting ready to call our pastor emeritus. He's going to pray. We're going to pray. We got a lot to pray for, saints of God. We have a lot to pray for, amen. And we know that the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous avail of much. And if nothing else, this church, prayer house, church of God by faith, we're going to pray. We're going to pray. Have we been enjoying our national prayer at 6 o'clock each morning? We've been having national prayer at day 6 this morning. That's what we pray this morning at CPA for our finances and we in a better financial position. Amen. I thank God for me giving an opportunity to pray for unity. All of those prayers are still on YouTube. If you go to our church of God by faith.org uh, uh, YouTube page, you can, you can follow along if you miss the day with those prayers. And you can see, we're praying for 10 days leading up to our 100th year National Assembly. Amen. Praise God. We won't be having church next Sunday as a result of that because we're asking everyone to log in and to join all of those services that we're going to have starting on Thursday leading up to Sunday. And I think we're having our first National Communion, I believe, on that Sunday, led by our bishop, amen, the ruling elder, uh, amen, Pray James E. McKnight Jr. So we're getting ready to receive our pastor emeritus who's going to lead us in prayer. Come on and get with us and get our minds right. I'm going to get ready to receive our pastor emeritus who's going to lead us in prayer. Come on and get with us and get our minds right. I'm going to get ready to receive our pastor emeritus who's going to lead us in prayer. Come on and get with us and get our minds right. I'm going to get ready to receive our pastor emeritus who's going to lead us in prayer. Come on and get with us and get our minds right. I'm going to get ready to receive our pastor emeritus who's going to lead us in prayer. Come on and get with us and get our minds right. I'm going to get ready to receive our pastor emeritus who's going to lead us in Glory to you, God, 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 I say glory to God, hallelujah, thank God, thank God, thank God, this morning, thank God, this morning, good to be here, church, you that are watching, amen, by Zoom and Facebook, what have you, that you tune in, we 
come and give God some praises. Ain't that right? God is good, ain't that right? Well, what's up this morning? You don't have no, you don't have no breathing machine. Where you up there? God is going to take all somebody. Amen. Amen.
we'll go ahead and bless him.
Hebrews 11, verse 1 to 3. Yeah. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So that things which are seen were not things which do appear. The Amplified Version of verse 1 says, Now faith is the assurance, assurance that's right. the title deed, the confirmation of things hoped for, yeah. divinely guaranteed. Oh my God, guaranteed. And the evidence of things not seen, yeah. the conviction of their reality. Faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by the physical senses. My Lord, my God, and my King, we thank you today for this word. Lord Jesus, I know that the word has within it to do what it will do all by itself. And Lord, I ask that these words that you've given me will help someone to be able to walk by faith, even though they don't see it. Amen. 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 My thought for today is leap and the net will appear. Come on. You don't see the net right now, but I challenge you to leap and that net will appear. When I thought about that, I felt sort of like Mary and Elizabeth when that word hit me. Everything in me began to leap. I said, my God, that's powerful. Leap and the net will appear. Yeah. And I think about uh, the trapeze artists. You know, they're swinging hundreds of feet in the air. And they may see the net and they may not see the net. But they have that guarantee it within them. They feel, they know that that net is going to be there. If they should fall, that net will be there to keep them, to catch them. To keep them from breaking up every bone in their body. And we're in a time now where we, some of us, our lives are, we're just like the trapeze artists. We up high. We swing it, but we don't know what's really going on. One day COVID numbers are down, the next day COVID numbers are high. One day we don't have to wear masks, the next day it's mandated, you gotta wear masks. You just don't know what's going on. And so many things have happened. Jobs have been lost and, and, and new jobs have opened up. And, and some jobs that only pay 10 or $12 an hour because they can't get anybody to stay at these jobs, they're paying $20 an hour. Wow. They can't get people to stay because their fear, even if you ever lost a job, there's a fear that goes with that. Whether, whether it was your fault, whether there was a big layoff, it still uh, does something to you spiritually. And, and you don't feel completely safe. But I say take the job, leap, and the net will appear. Whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is that God has told you to do, yes, in this pandemic, God has been telling some people to do some stuff that they think is absolutely crazy. But I challenge you to leap, and the net will appear. Leap, and the net will appear. If he's telling you to move to South Carolina somewhere, guess what? Make that move. Don't worry about you don't have a job. Take that leap. It's called faith. Take that leap of faith. If maybe he's telling you to start your own business. Yes, in this, in this pandemic atmosphere, some people have been told to start a business when there's businesses closing every day by the right. Thousands. Right. And he's telling you to start a business. Well, start that business. Take that leap. Yeah. The net will appear. Anything that God has told you to do, he's supplied already what you need for that thing. Well, it's already there. And if you if you wonder how do I get this net, confess Lord Jesus as your Savior. That gives you the net that you need. So when you take the leap of faith. God is there to protect you. God is there to do what needs to be done to keep you. Amen. Leap and the net will appear. That's 
faith. You gotta have faith to walk this walk. Especially now, you gotta have faith and you gotta make some, you gotta do some actions that you might have not done before. And see, this pandemic has 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 forced some of us to stop being lazy saints. Uh -huh. And I say that because, you know, at one point in time, we was able to come to church all the time and we just depended on what was going on in church. Now you have to depend a lot on what you do outside of church. Amen. Outside of these four walls, you got to leap. You got to read the word for yourself. You got to pray for yourself. You got to do it all. And you got to know that you know that you know that you are still you're still saved and sanctified. You're still holding on to that word. You're still holding on to your salvation. That you're not giving up. Because it's getting hard. It's getting hard. It's getting hard, hard, hard. But don't give up. Amen. Don't give up. Amen. Leap and the net will appear. Right. Amen. You can get what you need if you just take that leap of faith. And do it. That net will appear. James 2 and 17 pretty much says uh, faith without action is dead. Okay. Yep, yep. Leap is an action word. Yes. Huh? You can leap and be sitting down. Uh -huh. Leap means you standing up. Yes. You coming up off the floor. You yes. defying gravity. Okay. You're up in the air and you come back down. Amen. 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 That's faith without works. Faith all by itself. Is dead. In fact, that verse said, that that verse says something about not faith alone. Uh -huh. So we got to know you need more than just your faith. Yeah. You got to activate that faith. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was watching. I was watching uh, the Family Feud, and this lady, they, their family, won the chance to get that twenty thousand dollars, and it was funny, but it it wasn't funny. It was funny. But it was activating as well, huh? Because when she came up to the area to, to give her words, to answer those five questions, she said, hold up. And she started singing. She started saying, Holy Spirit, activate. Holy Spirit, activate. 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 She wanted the Spirit of the Lord to bring to her the top answers. And what happened, it became contagious. Steve Harvey was looking at a stranger first, and then he started saying, Holy Spirit, activate. And the next thing I knew, the whole audience was saying, Holy Spirit, activate, activate. She evangelized on the family view. Some of those people left to try to find out what this Holy Spirit was that she was talking about. I just believe that somebody in that audience came to know Christ. Because curiosity, curiosity killed the cat, but curiosity about Jesus will get yes. you saved. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. So you've got to have the action. You've got to leap. You have to make that move. But when I believed for my first house, I didn't just say, oh, I believe. I felt it. I felt it was real and it was going to happen. So what I did, I started buying stuff. I started buying my kids' room, their, their bedrooms, their drapes, their comforters, everything that I wanted in my daughter's room and my son's room. I started buying new kitchen stuff, new pots and pans. Never opened a box, just waiting for my house that I knew I was going to get. Started going around the neighborhoods looking to see what it looked like at different times of day. What it looked like. Well, Is there a lot of kids in this area? Do I see drug addicts in this area hanging out? I started doing the work. And guess what? I got my house. And I, I did say my first house. So that's an indication that there have been more. Hallelujah. And each one I had to believe and I had to act. I started buying that stuff and then I got my house. You have to leap. You have to jump over the edge. You might not see the net there. You might not see how it's going to happen. You might not see where it's going to take you. And a lot of times we can't see. A lot of times God can't show you that. Because some of the stuff that you have to go through to get to where he's taking you will scare you to death. Yes. And yes. you won't leap. Yes. You stand right back there where you were and say, mm -mm. Uh -huh. God, you made a mistake. I'm not the one that's supposed to do that. Because uh -huh. I'm not going through all that. 
So he has to keep us in the dark about some things. But I challenge you today to just be. Just go ahead. He's going to catch you. He won't let you hurt yourself. Amen. Amen. Action Amen. is the real evidence of faith. Oh, yeah. You want to show me that faith? Step into it. Put some action with what you believe in. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yes. And somebody might say, well, yeah. How, how do you know it works? Well, I tried it for myself. Uh -huh. And I saw that it does work. But look at Noah. It had never rained before in the history of the world. That's right. But God said it's going to rain and build an ark. That's right. Noah was talked about and everything else, but he still took that leap. Yeah, sure and sure enough, the net did appear. The net was God doing just what he said and not letting Noah look like a fool out there talking about rain and building boats on dry ground. Here's another fellow that took a leap. Come on, Moses. Tell them about your leap. Well, God told me to go back and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. And I knew those folk was already not feeling me when I, when I left there the first time. And now he wants me to go back and get my people. Moses took the leap. You know the story. He had to go through plagues and yeah. everything else before Pharaoh would let the people go. Right. And then when they thought they was free, Pharaoh reneged on his word and, yeah. and was about to slaughter them. I thought he was because they were they were stuck. They were stuck with with what they thought was no way out. They got to the Red Sea and didn't see a way out. But God said, "Leap." You are, might be up with your back up against the wall and can't see your way out, but God is saying, leap, and the net will appear. He told Moses, stretch out your rod, and, and when the action, he stretched it out, yes. was done, the Red Sea parted open, yes. and, and they walked through on dry ground. Will appear. I'm just trying to encourage you to do what God has told you to do. Leap and the net will appear. Come here, Abraham. Have you ever leaped and had the net appear? Oh, yes, ma'am. I sure never have. Like God, I was told to sacrifice my only son, my son that I love so much. I obeyed God, took action, got my son and the crew together, and went to Mount Moriah like I was instructed. My poor son had no clue that he was going to be the burnt offering. Yeah. But I trusted God and his word about who my son would be and what he would do. And he had not become that yet. So I got up there trusting that even if I killed him somehow, some way, God was going to bring him back to life. Yeah. Yeah. I leaped yeah. and the net appeared as a yeah. ram caught up the yeah. net. Just obey. obey. Trust and believe. Right. Abraham's confidence in the word of the Lord. Right. Isaac had not become all that God has said yet. The word was his net. Right. Some of you are stuck. You need to leap and a net will appear. Right. See, what you don't realize is you are already what God wants you to be yes. in order to do what he calls you to do or get what he has for you. Uh, just leap. I've learned that I'm not becoming anything. I'm not becoming anything. But I already am who God says I am. I'm not becoming blessed. I'm already blessed. I'm not becoming favored. I'm already favored. I'm not becoming healed. I'm already healed. I'm not becoming somebody. I'm already somebody. Somebody around you, let them know that because you're saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, that you already are who God says you are. You already are destined to be who you're going to be in Christ. You already have what God says that you have. As a matter of fact, even though you may not see it, you already have what God says you have. So y'all uh, do only get excited. Or, or stuff that you can see. You got to stop that. Because the Bible says in 1 Corinthians, don't even worry about the things that you do see. Because the things you do see are temporary. Come on, now. We want some 
good stuff. You can take faith and to watch and get that permanent stuff. It's the stuff that you don't see that you need to be praising God for. It's the things that you do not see that you really need to be thanking God for. Because every now and then your mind will play tricks on you. Your mind will try to make you believe something that's not there that really is there. Your mind and the devil will try to make you believe that God has forgotten about you. That God has forgotten what he said. That God may not even be able to do what he said he was going to do. But I'm here to tell you to leap and the net will appear. God. If God said it, it is so. That's the end of the word. All you have to do is say God said it. And if God said it, it is what he said it would be. What have you been believing God for? Is it not becoming? Is it not coming to you? It can't come because it's already there. All you have to do is leap and you'll see the net appear. Somebody give God a praise. It's already done. It's already done, done, done. That's what you gotta do. You've been believing God for it. It's already done. You don't have to wait till the battle is over. Leap now and the net will appear. You might not see the net, but leap. Trust God for what you don't see. Is there anybody in here that can give God a praise for what you don't see? Just begin to thank God for what you don't see. 
I don't see it happening, but it's already done. Huh? Speak that word. I don't see it happening, but it's already done. You have to speak the word. Yes. Yes. In Mark 11 23, he says, he says, say to the mountain. He didn't say, hey to the mountain. He didn't say, hmm, feel like the mountain. No, he said, say to the mountain. Be thou removed. You got to speak the word. We have to speak. So we have to say some things out loud so the spirit realm can hear it and get to move it on your behalf. Just like it did when God created the whole world. He spoke. And when he spoke, the spirit said, what, 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 what? Before he could finish the sentence, the spirit was up and said, what? He said, just let there be some light. And there was light. It was an instant thing because he spoke it. And then he told us, he said, we have the power of life and death in our tongues. And he said, we're created in the same image as him. And he gave us an example yeah. by creating the whole world just by speaking a word. Yeah. Now, we have to speak some things in the spirit realm. We have to do that. We have the power of life and death in our tongues. There's power in our tongues. Leap and the net will appear. We have so much power that I believe that just by speaking the word alone, some things can change. Even he even gave us the authority to say things not in my name, but he said in his name. In the name of Jesus, we can speak some things. He gave us that authority and he shed his blood so that we could be saved and have that power. You know what? I haven't heard people saying, I plead the blood. I haven't heard that a lot. But it's time for us to start pleading the blood again. Uh, yeah. Amen. Amen. He said we could. It's time for us to start crying loud. Oh, the blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus over everything. The blood. The blood. situations and watch God move. Watch the net appear. Suddenly and all at once you see the net appear. You start pleading the blood and guess what? The devil gets scared when you start pleading the blood because that's like some quick action stuff. That's some, some, some better than Wi-Fi. It's quick. You plead the blood, the blood, the blood. Believe it. Stand on it. Show your action. Believe it. Keep doing it. Keep pleading the blood. I'm pleading the blood over 14621. No more murders. No more shouts. No more gun murders. No more not murders. I plead the blood. I plead the blood over 
Yes. If you don't know him as your Savior, yes. then we beg you. Yes. We yes. beg you to get to know him. Yes. Yes. If you've been going through some hard times, yes. I'm not saying that hard times will stop, mm. but it'll be easier to get through yes. because you have Christ with you. I promise you that. Because I've had some hard times. Yes. But I had Jesus on my side. Yes. Boy, there's nothing better than to be able to call on Jesus. Yes. And you can call him at any time. Yeah. 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 So I, I challenge you yes. to get to know him. Yes. Take that lead. And then that will appear. Yes. That's it.
but it reminds me of a story of a prominent pastor, hallelujah. He's going through a line, hallelujah. Uh, and this is a car wash. And he hears a lot of ruckus on the side of the vending machine. And there's someone over there kicking the vending machine. They put their money in the vending machine uh, and their, their product didn't come out, hallelujah. Uh, and so the prominent pastor got out of the car and walked over to the vending machine and asked the gentleman, what's going on? He said, well, I put my 50 cents in the, in the vending machine and my product didn't come back out. Well, the pastor looked around and he looked at the vending machine and said, well, you're 10, you're 10 cents short. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's why your product didn't come out. And the moral of that story is don't let 10% lose your blessing. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. Don't let 10% lose your blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And who are we? Hallelujah. We are Church of God by faith. Hallelujah. Yeah. At 270 Cumberland Street. Hallelujah. Our phone number is 244. Hallelujah. 3940. Yeah. Hallelujah. Our mail address is P.O. Box. 30108 Hallelujah. You want to mail something to us? Hallelujah. If you want to uh, look up, look us up on the website. Hallelujah. Our website is prayerhousechurchofgodbyfaith.org. Amen. And our email address is prayerhouse270 at gmail.com. Hallelujah. We also, you can download our app at Google Play, on uh, iTunes. Hallelujah. At Amazon Store. Hallelujah. And if you want to give us give today, hallelujah. Yeah. You can give us at our cash app at dollar sign prayer house 270. Yeah. And that's dollar sign prayer house 270. Hallelujah. Our services, our uh, worship services are 11 a.m. on Sunday. Hallelujah. We have in-person services as well. Hallelujah. You can also watch us live. Hallelujah. On Facebook. Hallelujah. Our Bible study. Hallelujah. It's Wednesday at 7 p.m. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, Father, we thank you today, Father. Thank you. We thank you for having the opportunity, Father, to see another day, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for the opportunity to be able to give unto this, uh, unto this ministry, Lord. We ask for, we pray for those that wanted to give, Lord, and could not give, Lord. We pray for those that are out there, Lord, those philanthropists, Lord, that's out there, Lord, that are looking to donate and give, Lord, to a cause, Lord. We ask that you direct them, Lord, uh, to us, Lord. We ask for these prayers, Lord, in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Deacon Governor. Amen. Praise God. We're getting ready to pray and log off of our online service. Uh, we're asking our in person folks to just bear with us. We do have some announcements to make on uh, behalf of our church body. I uh, just want to encourage folks. Just want to encourage and we thank you again for our online partners uh, for joining us. And, I, and I'm grateful for our, our, our second door. Because what's happening is a lot of our sick and shut-in folks and people who are unable to come to church have really been a blessing to them. They're able to log on. They've never felt like they weren't a part of the church. They've never felt forgotten. We thank God for Mother Baker. Amen. Praise God. Also, I want to say this live on here. Mother Butler is, is, is celebrating a birthday this week, I believe. Amen. Praise God. Is that correct? I believe so. Wait, is it 93? Huh? On the 14, amen. Give it up for our oldest, our oldest, our most senior season. I'm going to say Our most senior mother, amen. Praise God. I'm going to celebrate a uh, birthday on, on, on the 14th, amen. We thank God for her as well, too. And we want to again remind you that we will not be on Bible study this Sunday for those who, who, who check in with us on Zoom. And, and we will not be, our services on Sunday will not be live on Facebook. So, if you miss us on next Sunday, you can log in, though. If you go to churchofgodbyfaith.org, you can log in or go to the Church of God by Faith on YouTube. You're able to follow our national church. Our national church is having our 100-year National Assembly Convention in Atlanta, Georgia. And it will be on live on Facebook, and it will be live on YouTube. So you're able to check in with us and follow us all the way from Thursday till Sunday. Go to the website and you can get all the information at cogbf.org on the convention and all of the dates, the breakout sessions, etc. Uh, you're able to check in and log in and follow along with us. We're also having prayer. We're having 10 days of consecration every day that we started on last week. 
Uh, it's 10 days. We're day six today on tomorrow at 6 a.m. Uh, you're able to, again, follow along with us. And you can find that on the YouTube page of Church of God by Faith. Or you can go to our app, Amen, Praise God, and to our announcements. And you can get the information on how to call in and be a part of that 6 a.m. morning prayer. Nothing better than getting up in the morning, amen, yes. and meeting God in prayer. Amen. Yes. We're getting ready to pray right now uh, of our online uh, partners. Amen. We thank God for the word today, God. We thank God for the woman of God. We ask that you replenish her strength, God, and bless her. We yes. pray in the name of Jesus, God. We don't take it for granted that we're able to come into the house of worship me uh, in Kentucky and all around down that area who were impacted by the tornado. They couldn't go to church this morning. They couldn't worship as they normally do because of the destruction that has happened. We pray for them, God. We pray that you continue to bless the resources that they need to have to go into recovery, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray for the first responders, the governor, and all of the people that are trying to going down, heading down to look for their family members and to Oh God, we pray in the name of Jesus that you help them, God, and have mercy, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We pray, oh God, that somebody today that heard your word, God, that they may have gotten saved, that they want to be delivered, they want to be set free. Oh God, we thank you for them right now, God. And we pray for our online, for everybody under the sound of my voice, God, that you continue to bless them, keep them until the next appointed time that we see them again, God. And we thank you and we give you glory. We plead the blood over that households in the name of Jesus. We can every attack, every device, any scheme, anything that's not like you, God. And we speak life. We speak it more abundantly, God. And we speak your blessings over everyone on the side of our voice. We give you glory and praise in Jesus' name, amen. And we always remind you that this is the church where we believe that God is still working miracles. God bless you. Amen. 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 Am